that sacrifice. Shout out to, to Douglas and Michael and Slim Strip for staying in the, this entire time and really soaking this, this information up. Like I've, I've sat down with two of these individuals and I've seen them grow over the past several years. Like me and Mike was connected on social media for a couple years before we connected face to face. Me and Slim Shrimp, like we had an amazing lunch brunch today and I told him like my, my time is valuable. So if I'm sitting here having lunch with you it's because I see potential in you. Everyone has it but you're operating in yours. Mike, you're operating in yours. Douglas, you're operating in yours. There's sacrifices that you made that allowed you to excel in ministry. There's sacrifices you made that allowed you to excel in business. There's sacrifices that you made that allowed you to excel in life. Because you said, you know what? I am able. I am that I am. The I am in me lives in you. The I am that was in Moses, Jesus lives in you. So knowing those things, am I able, and you can check off yes, all right, now it's time to put together this list of five to seven people that have been winning, that have been winning, and what are their qualities and traits? And then the last one, am I willing? You see that Eric Thomas talked about getting up three o'clock in the morning. Jesus was an early riser and he went to pray and meditate whole purpose of the awareness and we were at the last point where we were talking about am I willing are you willing to get ridiculed are you willing to fail forward are you willing to to go the extra mile are you willing to not get paid for, for your for your ministry in the first couple years are you willing to go out there and help and, and serve and become a servant leader are you willing to get up at four or five six o'clock in the morning and read and pray are you willing to to uh, stop Missing a, missing a football game? Are you willing to drop from that bowling league? Are you willing to drop from that softball league just for a couple years, not forever, but until you get to the point where your foundation is strong enough to, to your, your, your foundation and understanding of who you are is strong enough to, to, to get you to the next level. So li literally finding out who you are, making a decision and choice to Go to the moon or go to another planet or check, be, build a ministry or uh, launch a successful clothing line or travel around the world, create art, leave a legacy for your children's children. Make that goal and decision. Then you got to ask yourself, are you able to do the things that it will take? Are you physically able to travel around the world? Are you phys mentally in a position where you can educate and teach people? Are you able? And then going back to the last one. Are you willing? Are you willing to deal with all those things that I, that I labeled every with earlier, from the ridicule to putting in the long hours to uh, like not consistently doing things that make you feel uncomfortable? And if you answer yes to those, then I tell you, you've, you've started a major step in self-awareness. You started a major step in you being the man that God intended you to be. You started off with a major step in you being a woman that God intended for you to be. So a quick recap, my name is Elijah Mindset Morgano, CEO and co-founder of the Transformation University of Life. Thank y'all so much, so, so much for tuning into day one of the five-day Mindset Detox. Tune in tomorrow where we go over mind mapping so we can understand the, gene, the, the marvelous mind and how can you Take those five people that, or two or three people that you admire their work ethic, or you admire their spirit life, or you admire their business, or you admire their, their success, or you admire their, their greatness, or you admire their literature. We're going to take those two or three people and figure out what you admire about them and how do you put that into your subconscious mind. How do you mind map your, yourself into success? So don't miss out tomorrow's episode, 9 p.m., Focused on mind mapping, understanding the marvelous mind. Elijah Mindset Morgano, thank y'all for staying in, tuning in, and watching. Positive energy activates constant elevation. Booyah!